So what's going on at tight end right now? I think Levi Draper, Dominic Johnson over there. Um, what's what's the story there? Well, uh, you know we ob- we obviously need some more bodies there. We need some guys that can help us. We moved Draper over there, and so y'all know um, uh, his his shoulder uh, went out, and and uh, he has with my blessing. Uh, basically, I talked to him about it, and, and he's medical redshirted, so he's he's done. Uh, with my blessing, I, I actually called him in to talk to him about it because he's already had three surgeries in his career, two last year, hurt it again the day we moved him to tight end. And uh, so at that point, Trey, we moved Dominique over there, and he was more than happy to do it uh, on the depth chart. He's not, uh, you know, uh, in the top three or four guys, and, and we thought he could help us at tight end, so we're trying to get that done right now. Out in the hot sun and hitting and all Was that stuff. What it <laughs> boiling hot. What what it looked like. I tell you what, guys. In my opinion, it was the best practice we've had this this uh, camp. The kids. I don't even want to say they fought through the heat because you didn't even notice that they were struggling through it. Um, we got a lot done. Uh, we went uh, a lot of red zone, a lot of situations. Third down. We went third and one. We went goal line. We went two-point play. Uh, we did a lot of specifics today, and uh, and they did a wonderful job of it. Uh, started out with a pocket pass protection drill where, you know, defense got the offense. You know, um, we've got to get better at protection. And I'm not just saying, uh, fellas, or excuse me, everybody, um, I'm not saying that we – uh, can't protect. It's our we're, we're violating our eyes a little bit, and we're uh, between the backs and the O line. We've got to get better there, and uh, because we can't cut somebody loose on our quarterback, and we've got to get better at that. At that. I guess since you wanted uh, Clary at, at to be a guard, how's he handling it? You know, having to go back to center. Yeah, you know, um, obviously uh, Ricky's banged up a little bit, and so. Um, uh, it's a blessing as well, to be honest with you, because uh, Ty's having that opportunity. Um, obviously, he's played it uh, in the past. Uh, he's doing a nice job of it. But that's a position there where, you know, if you went from right guard to left guard, you know, probably a lot easier than going from right guard to center, even though he's done it before, you know, the snapping and the calls and all those things. But – I think he's improving each day, and and I think he is our our two center right now. What kind of camp has Oglesby had, and just what do you think about him as a two sport guy? What what are you looking for out of him? I thought he I thought he's getting better. I think he's getting better. He's a willing blocker in pass protection. Um, you know, he runs. He's ten three. And the thing with him is we wanted to see 10-3 on the football field. Uh, I, I think we're starting to see that a little bit more as he's getting more comfortable. Uh, so, you know, he's in that battle. Uh, who are we going to play at two running back, you know? And he's in that battle. Uh, certainly Rakeem uh, – I mean, excuse me. Well, his name's Rakeem. Rocky Sanders is in that battle. And certainly A.J. Green's in that battle as well. Coach, I know it's just been one practice and pads, but uh, what can you tell us about the – because you were talking about the number two. You need to find a number three quarterback, number two. How, how's that – behind KJ, how's it coming along? Well, Malik has – obviously he has his um, abilities. You know, he's very fast and, and those things. I, I believe he's throwing the ball a little bit better. That still has to improve, but he's throwing it better. Uh, behind that, you know – it's kind of a toss-up each day. You know, we're doing ones, twos, threes, and then we're doing what we call a combo period. And basically what I told our coaches is kind of your worst nightmare. In other words, that guy, we can't, you know, we can't lose that guy and let's say that we did. And so uh, we're getting a lot of different quarterback looks moved up a little bit with depth. Um, but, you know, the three, to be honest with you, I don't know who he is right now. And I and and I'm not saying, you know, a lot of times you say that and you don't have a three. I'm not saying that. I'm I'm saying we just 
we've got five yeah, you know, we've got three guys in there battling it out, and, and they all have done well at times. And so we still have a few, pra- you know, 19 left to figure that out. Really, that's not true. We don't have 19 to figure that out. We probably got more like 14 or 13 to figure that out. Coach, uh, after seeing A.J. now for a week, um, how do you how do you think he's progressed? A.J. Green, um, well, he looked good today. Um He's he's starting to become a more willing blocker in pass protection. You know, I don't know how much he did of that in high school. Uh, if I was a high school coach, I'd turn around and hand it to him, and I'm sure that's what they did. Um, but he is starting – you know how it is when you first come in and you're – you know, he also ran 10-3 something, 10-4. But you – you're playing about 10, 8, 10, 9 because you're thinking all the time, and that's what it was. And I'm going to say in that comparison, he's probably running about 10, 7 right now. He's he's getting towards that 100-meter that mark that he set, but not quite there yet. Two-part thing. You said it was a really good practice. So who looked good? Who – who KJ looked good? Who, who intercepted passes? I think the team looked good. In other words, um, you know, we, we ran to the ball. We – we uh, practiced hard. We stayed up in third and one. We took care of each other. We came out of it with, you know, might have had an ankle here or there, but nothing too big. Uh, the transition was fast. The, the guys um, policing the old te- their own team about uh, running to the ball and staying uh, and thudding and not going on the ground with thud. Not a lot of mistakes, the ones that we had were the ones I just spoke about. So I was real proud of them. You know, we had some guys that, you know, got knocked down and got back up. And, you know, we haven't always done that. You know, a lot of times we went to the sideline, you know. we've got So we're getting a tougher team, and I'm, I guess, most excited about that. And I was wondering what Saturday's scrimmage might look like. Number of plays, how you're going to yeah. do things, if you could say. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess right now that uh, the number of plays will be somewhere of around 50 per unit of one and two, and then the threes are gonna get somewhere around half of that, about 25. We will do all phases of the kicking game. Uh, we will not cover every one of them. You know, uh, punt. We'll we'll cover one of the ones are gonna do three punts, and we'll cover one of them probably have an all-out block, uh, trying to block it as well on one, and then we'll cover down about 15 yards on one. On kickoff, kickoff return, we'll, we'll do a full full rep. Now, we're not going to tackle the returner. We'll do a full rep, and then the next one will be take the line, you know, uh, things of that nature. So uh, it's going to be – I'm sure it'll be hot out there, but we'll, we'll end up somewhere around 125 plays total. But, no, that's not true. With – not counting special teams. What have your early impressions been of the three transfer D linemen, Ridgeway, Trey Williams, and Mark they're going to help us. I mean, they uh, they're they're good kids. They work hard. They're talented. You know, it was kind of easy when they got in a portal to recruit them because you know two of them had been playing SEC football, and the other one had played. Um, Division One, One AA uh, football, and had played it at a high level, and uh, all three of them are in our two deep somewhere. Some maybe some days are starting, some days are in two deep, but but all three of them are are going to help us, I, I believe, and and help us a lot. Coach, do you have you awarded any scholarships to any walk-ons? I have not right now. Um, I have some. Um, certainly thinking about that and things. Uh, I will probably uh, wait another week or two. Um, you know, the thing about that is you, you want to make sure that you – because if I had it my way, I'd give them all a scholarship. Um, but you want to make sure when you do that that you're giving it to whomever is helping the team on the field the most. Now, they're all helping the team, but – whomever's helping the team on the field the most, and you want to make that happen. And I don't know that I'll really know that for another couple of weeks. And if I do give somebody a scholarship, it'll retro back to where whatever they paid, they'll get back, and then they'll get their scholarship.
Sam, I noticed Devin Bush running with the twos today. What kind of camp have – Who was that? Devin Bush. Yeah. What kind of camp has he had so far? Really good. You know, he's been he's been in the threes uh, most, um, most of camp. Um, you know, we had a depth chart, how we're going to play the players on Saturday. Uh, meeting yesterday, obviously we didn't practice. Uh, and his name came up a lot, and so I'm going, well, if it comes up that much, why don't we just put him with the twos and see how he is against a little bit, possibly a little bit better competition, and that's what happened. Just regarding Saturday, kind of what are you looking for and also what, what effect on the depth chart? I mean, is this going to be a big, big factor on, you know, who lines up where next week? Well, the depth chart, I believe in the first scrimmage you go play your people. You know, you go play your best people and, and – uh, in the first scrimmage, and then your second scrimmage, you might, you might, you may or may not, depending on if you have a guy that you just can't afford to lose. But the bottom line is, we can't afford to lose any of them, you know. And so, and your first part of the question was, just kind of in general, what are you looking for? Yeah, I want, you know, I want to. Obviously, we haven't tackled, so we want to see how well we tackle. Um, we're finding out a little bit more about our pass rush abilities. You guys have been out there on some of those, and and uh, so we're finding a little bit more about that. I, I want to see if we can protect the quarterback. I want to see if we can run the ball, um, and I want to see if we can stop the ball uh, ball carrier. Um, but you know, there's there's a special teams part of it as well. You know, uh, right now we feel like Cam Little is really kicking the ball well, and. Uh, uh, then we'd have to find our punter, you know, who who that would be, and 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 returner. But I think this will be a big deal for us Saturday on on how we go in, you know, how we how we have it depth chart in special teams and how it comes out. I think will be really a telltale sign of of where guys are. Coach, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the special teams job. I also had a question real quick about um, Aaron Outley. I don't think I haven't seen him out yeah, there. But. You haven't. You haven't because he hadn't been out there. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, uh, he's just not ready yet. Right. You know, um, he had a good summer. Trey um, got in better shape. Came in a little heavy. You know, and he got in better shape, but. We as a staff, as a medical staff, don't think that he's healthy enough right now to go out there and possibly not get hurt, you know, not get out of his own way right now. We're progressing with that a little bit, but uh, he's not ready yet. Um, and on special teams, have you gotten anywhere with paring down the return jobs at all? Or is this scrimmage going to be a big part? And <laughs> well, How do you decide that? Because you guys, I mean, it's not like you go live a whole lot on special teams. You know, teams we stuff. talked about it. We did. We talked about, well, find out how, who can make people miss by having people go down there and try to tackle him. And that conversation didn't really last that long. We're going, no, nah, we can't afford to do that. Um, we're going to do some things that whiz guys by them and things of that nature and let them get a feel of people, you know, around them and things of that nature. But as far as going. I had a recruiting question for you, if you don't mind. I know you had you brought in some transfers that you said could count forward to the yeah. 22 class. How, do you know how many guys you're going to be able to sign in 22? Is it going to be a full 25 or did someone? No, else it have can't be hand? because of the three guys. We we basically the answer to your question is you you know if you if you were able to sign 25, which that's still up in the air because you don't know about portal transfer, you know all that stuff. But if you were able to sign 25, right now we're able to sign 22. If we decided to give a first-year guy, in other words, if we decided to give a scholarship to a Warren Thompson or something like that, well, then that would take that 22 to 21. Um, so right now uh, we're working on maybe we have three available. We might have four. but. We probably only have about three left, uh, assuming that the guys that say they're coming are going to come. Hey, Coach, are we missing anybody with the freshmen, like in terms of somebody might be surgeon, maybe, I don't know, one of the D-backs or DBs or something? You know, like I really like uh, Kiwan Parker. I like him. He's doing a good job. I, I'm, I've been impressed with the, 
the three, actually four, offensive linemen, in, 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 including including Street, you know, uh, the walk on. Um, I've liked those guys. They've done a nice job. Of course, Outley's hurt. Landon Rogers, we haven't talked about. He's he's probably, I tell you what, he can throw the football now. He's a big athlete, uh, but learning the playbook, those other guys are ahead of him because they've they were here, you know. And uh, but he's very very talented. And you go on defense. I think I've spoke of Solomon Wright and Campbell. I'm, I'm liking those guys and. And I don't know really. I hate to miss somebody. Oh, the wide receivers. That's a good group, you know, with 14, 2, and 13. Those guys are good players, and they're going to help us. Uh, I think at least two of the three or all three of them will help us this year. Hey, Sam, with, with Jalen Williams, I know he had a back, some back uh, spasms or disc or something that, that hurt him in the spring, and I know those portal guys you brought in maybe pushed him down. Depth. How's he doing? I see him out there. I know he's working. How's he doing? You know, Bob, he's, he's healthy. Um, I have not seen him move yet like the tape we recruited him off of, and if you ask him, he would say the same thing. Uh, so I, I have to think that there's still some type of back issue, you know. Now he says there's not, and the medical people say there's not, so there's probably not. But he's not quite moving yet, and part of that may be because he, you know, he maybe he hasn't learned everything quite, you know, quite well yet, and he's half a step behind and things. But uh, he's not moving yet like uh, what I think that he he can or what I saw off of his recruiting tape. you think he can help if he starts feeling better? I think he can. You know, obviously we recruited him to come in and we thought he could help us and things. I think he can, but right now his quick twitch is, you know, we just got to keep working on that and his ability to run.